I want to turn my remarks to Tulsa Public Schools directly. There have been a lot of conversations. Um, there's been a lot of attention around Tulsa Public Schools. There's been commentary uh, that ranges all the way from um, you should not do anything with this district. There's been commentary to we should come in and take over the district to get them back on track. I've been to Tulsa more than a dozen times in the last three weeks for meetings um, with different leaders, different groups, different organizations, um, diff different interested parties. Uh, it's clear there's been a lot of misinformation. It's clear that there's been a lot of um, confusion. And so I've tried to be as crystal clear publicly as I could with how I feel this has to go in the future. Kind of my four criteria from the beginning were number one, Superintendent Deborah Gist had to go. She had an incredibly poor performance in the district. The finances are something that I would like for us to look into recommendations today of how to correct. Um, her lack of transparency with not only our agency, but her own board put the district in a position where um, their board often was not given answers to what they needed and not given the information to make proper decisions on how to correct a problem. The trajectory under her watch was terrible. We saw student performance in reading drop from about 21% reading proficiency five years ago down to 12% currently. This is unacceptable for our kids. And I was crystal clear from day one, we needed new leadership in Tulsa. The other thing that I was clear about is that it is unacceptable to have 65% of your schools as failing schools. This is a disservice to the kids of the community. This is a disservice to the parents who send their kids to school every day, hoping that their kids are getting closer to a bright future. And it is also not fair and not appropriate for the entire city of Tulsa. They deserve better. They've asked for better. And I want to ensure them that they know that their failing schools are headed in the right direction. The other issue that I've outlined that has to be corrected now is the reading proficiency rates of the district. You have failing schools inside the school district that have allowed to continue to fail year after year without a serious plan for a turnaround. But you also have students, when you're reading at 12% on grade level for an entire district, this is a complete failure in teaching literacy. I truly believe every child can learn to read. I believe data, statistics, studies back that up. Every child is capable of reading. But we have to do what's required to give every kid the quality education possible so that they have that opportunity. That has not been happening in Tulsa. I've been clear that I'm not interested in a five-year plan or a 10-year plan We've seen these in the past, and what that ends up doing is delays accountability. We have to see significant change within this year in Tulsa Public Schools. I've laid out the numbers. The numbers don't lie. The numbers have been clear that this district is headed in the wrong direction and has failed their students. Having outlined my expectations very clearly, I am very pleased to see that Tulsa Public Schools took the effort to do as I requested and remove Deborah Guest from leadership. This is a significant step in the right direction. So many of the issues we've seen in Tulsa Public Schools have hinged around poor leadership from the top. And I believe that Tulsa School Board, the Tulsa community, and the leadership there is taking very seriously my demands for the district by taking that step. But this is one step. It is a significant step. It is the step that I required. And I am glad that they took that step. But there have to be additional steps to ensure dramatic transformation of this district into a high performing district. I want everyone listening to me to hear me loud and clear. This district will be a successful district by the end of this year. 
We want the city of Tulsa and Tulsa Public Schools to use everything in their power to turn this district around. As a history teacher, I, I love studying these moments that really define change in society. I, 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 it's so fascinating to me as you see, you know, paths towards success and paths towards failure. And they really hinge on critical moments. You know, uh, history tells you that you have these moments where things can be redirected. Things can be dramatically improved. If the right decisions are made, history also tells us that if the wrong decisions are made, people can suffer, situations can get worse, and we can lead to years and years of despair. And we're talking about schools, we're talking about kids that have every opportunity in the world, and we should continue to open doors for them, not close them. When I say that they will be successful by the end of the year, what I mean by that is I want to see this community rally together with an opportunity given to them to be successful. They now have a leader who ran the district into the ground out of the way. They have an opportunity here to drastically change directions, and I would love to see them do that. But I want to be crystal clear. If that does not happen, I leave every option on the table to force this district to serve these kids. I am willing to do anything to turn this school around. I would advise Tulsa Public Schools, their leadership, do not test me. I'm willing to do whatever it takes for these kids. I have looked Tulsans in the eye for three years now and said I will do whatever I can to fix their public schools. And I meant that every single time I said it. So as we continue and as we move forward into this discussion about their accreditation status and what will be required of them moving forward, I want everyone to know this board, and I know this is speaking to every one of you individually, if, if we have some small differences of opinion, I'm going to tell you, I've heard it from every one of you and I've heard it from your hearts. You are dedicated to this district being successful. This board will not let Tulsa fail.